Hey everybody, uh, James Owens coming to you, all you Mez heads and pool fans out there. I'm going to be demonstrating the Mez Ignite shaft today. I'm getting ready to unbox it, screw it on, chalk it up. Let me explain this deflection test that I'm going to be doing. What I've done here is typically people will shoot their cue ball at the end rail. And you can kind of see if it has deflection or not, but it's all within about an inch of hit on the end rail. Kind of hard to read. I know some of you have downloaded charts and tried taping that over the end rail, doing slow motion zoomed in videos to try to see the difference between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. Now, um, there's something called effective deflection. Here's what it means. Deflection is that when we hit the ball on the right side, it will move to the left. The law of physics, same thing would happen with a soccer ball. If we shoot it, if we kick it down the field rather right in the middle, it will fly in the middle. It will fly straight. If we kick it off to the right, it will move to the left immediately, but as it's turning to the right, it will start to fight its way back from the direction from which it came. Now, if you could figure out right when that arc will take place, you could end up back where you started and you would say there's no deflection on this cue. That's really not true. It's going to depend on how hard you hit and how far away you are. So it really messes you up when you're trying to get a read on the actual deflection of the cue, not the effective deflection of the cue. So what I've done here is I've got a closer hit. In other words, I'm not shooting from here to the end rail nine feet away. I'm just shooting a ball that's right here, just a few diamonds from me. Now, that takes part of takes care of the part of me deflecting back or swerving back in after deflecting. Excuse me. Now, when I hit this ball, if I'm off by about a quarter to three quarters of an inch here, you won't necessarily see that but I'm trying to hit this center to center. Now what you're going to see is the object ball will be, the hit will be magnified and instead of being in a center line, we may be off by a quarter to a half to even up to three quarters of a diamond with some cues. So this really magnifies the deflection you're getting on a cue. So this is a Mez EC7. I'm using the 30 inch X Pro and the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to hit this ball I'm going to hit it with a tip and a half of left English. I'm going to use a level Q. My bridge is typically about 11 inches. I'm going to hit it level. And I'm going to hit it with a three rail speed uh, for those of you who know what that is. So here's our test with the X Mez X Pro. Trying to hit center to center. Okay, and that's about what I typically experience. I've been playing with this shaft for a little over a year. What we did was we were able to hit aiming at center, but the deflection pushed us offline. We then hit a little more than half a diamond from where we started in the center. So we had more than half a diamond of deflection on that rail. The ball then came outside of this first diamond. I like to look at my rebound angle over here as well. Now what we're going to do before we screw the ignite shaft on, we're also going to test the Predator 314-3, which I happen to have here as well, just to give another look at this test. So this is a Predator 314-3, same tip and a half of English. I am aiming center to center. I am using parallel English. I am using a three rail speed. Less than half a diamond of deflection down there. Object ball was just barely, if at all, outside of this diamond. You'd have to see that in replay. But what we can say is that the 314-3 does have less deflection than the Mez X Pro 30 inch. So this is a 29 inch 314.3. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to unscrew the X Pro from the queue and we're going to unpackage and chalk this Ignite for the first time. And I hope I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. If you guys want to see everything you get from Mez is just beautifully packaged. I was able to get this shaft from Billy Burke out of Florida. They're very hard to get in the USA right now. I got this cue, which is a, an EC7 model from Manning Cues. Also want to thank Randy Reinfeld out in Las Vegas, who typically can get me any Mez product that I need. Even though he is a new dealer, he's extremely well connected, and he works very hard to get you what you want right away. And out of stock is not in his vocabulary. He will hunt things down for you. It's Randy Reinfeld out in Las Vegas. Now, We've just chalked this up. We're going to do the same thing with the Ignite. Let's just see what happens. Tip and half of left English, we're aiming center to center. 
Okay, so what you were able to see was with a center to center hit, the ball came right back and actually hit my cue ball. So not only did I hit the center of the end rail, it came right back at me and then had a second collision. Both balls then went their separate ways. There's a little misalignment from that, that rebound. This cue has little to no deflection. And for those of you who do like to use the chart on the end rail, I'm going to attempt before I close this video out, because I know this has been very controversial for mess heads around the world. I'm aiming at the center diamond, same way, same speed. Got straight in there. I didn't see more than an eighth inch of deflection. Let me switch back to my X Pro. Here comes the X Pro, which does have some, some deflection. Very powerful shaft, very fantastic hit. Obviously, quality. Anything that, that Med does is about an inch. Let's call it an inch close to it at the at the end rail. And then finally, I'm going to repeat the same test to the end rail from the head string with the Predator 314-3 shaft. Kind of to me looks like half to three quarters of an inch. We could see it on the replay. But I think that gives you guys an idea. So if you want to know about the Ignite shaft, get a hold of your various dealers. It's worth being on a waiting list for this shaft. I will tell you that the hit felt just like a wood shaft. It was not hollow. It was not tinny. I didn't see any deflection. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this shaft. I also want to get you a quick little zoom in here and just show you this comes in a 2.2 millimeter. The one that I'm demonstrating is the United thread which is a 5 16 14. It's also the same thread that you're going to find on Sean Q, Joss Q, and many others. Thank you everybody. Talk to you soon.